Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I am here building a third townhouse, um, kind of in this row of townhomes that I've been working on. So this is called the Lavender Townhouse because it is a soft purple lavender color. So, you know, going in with the same theme of all these townhouses, kind of having the same name. Um, I believe I mentioned this in one of the previous townhouse videos that this third one is uh, kind of a mirror image of the other two, so it's facing the other way. Um, and the reason I did that is because the stairs um, are normally on the right side, and if they're on the right side in this townhouse, they'd be kind of on the wall where the windows would be, so it wouldn't really be taking advantage of the fact that you know, this side has windows, or this townhouse can have windows on the side. And also, since the basement, um, you know, is sunken down to the ground a little bit, when I put the basement stairs in, it would kind of have, like, no double foundation wall um, uh, on that side, so the terrain would look kind of weird on the outside, so it was just better this way. Um, and I also put a covered porch on the back, so or a screened-in porch on the back, so you'll see that too. But uh, otherwise, this townhouse is the same as the other two layout-wise um, and all that kind of stuff because, you know, they're all pretty much the same. It's just facing the other direction. And if you haven't seen me build the other two townhouses yet, I will leave links in the description to those videos. So there's the blue one first, the green one second, and this is the third one. Um, there's a download link in the description below. They're all on one lot, so you can download um, the lot and have them all together. And uh, it's on lot number 19 in Plymouth, Isle. So yes, this is for my uh, Creator World series. So I'm wor working on building all the houses in this world that I created myself. And you can also check out the uh, Creator World playlist on my channel as well. But anyway, here I'm putting in uh, the kind of screens there for the screened in porch. So the screened in porch obviously um, is pretty much the same as like the other back porches, but it just has a roof on it and the screens, um, which I believe are from a store set. I think it's from the now and then Century Manor set. So yeah. Uh, and then again, this townhouse, uh, it's pretty similar to the other two, although it has different windows and doors on the front. Um, so, you know, that kind of differentiates it a little bit, you know, just outside of being a different color. And of course, like they all have different kind of like front walls as well that are all like different colors too. So that kind of differentiates them a little bit as well. But right here, I'm just looking for a front door. I think that's the one I go for. And I'm also getting in some windows. I actually think I go for the arched windows on this one, or I go for uh, one large arched one in the middle there. And then the window over the door is kind of like also arched and open there. So, you know, kind of different windows and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but anyway, right now I'm looking for a wall material here to go behind the windows. Uh, so each one kind of, each townhouse kind of has like a different um, like wall texture here that like goes behind the first floor like bay window. So it kind of just makes it like a little bit more interesting. So this one kind of has this white trim and then I use like the same lavender color there uh, kind of in the back. So this kind of makes it look a little bit more interesting. And here I'm just recoloring the other windows, I believe. So just getting those around the back and stuff. But uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, I was also recoloring the windows on the green one too. I guess there was an issue there. But anyway, here I am doing the screened in porch bits as well. And uh, we're moving on to the lower area. So just getting in some doors, actually some doors and windows on the upper level there too. And um, on the inside, all the archways and stuff are all the same between the townhouses, like all the doors and arches and stuff inside are the same. Um, this one doesn't have a third bedroom like the green one does, so this one has the same exact layout as the blue one. Um, so it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, with kind of like a bonus room in the basement. And here I'm just doing the same kind of uh, hedge walls there um, as the other ones. And this one has two trees, there's one in the corner, and then another tree I believe I put uh, kind of by the stairs. So kind of also makes it look a little different. Um, Getting in some plants there at the end of the sidewalk, just because the extended sidewalk kind of just ends there. And uh, right here, I'm just going to do some stuff, I guess. I thought we were going to do the, the landscaping in the backyard, but I guess not. Um, so, yeah, let's see what's going to happen here. The kitchen. So, yeah, the kitchen, again, is the same layout as the other ones, but, again, like a different, different um, kind of design here a little bit. So, you know, get different counters and different materials and stuff. But, again, since all these townhouses are kind of, like, built together, they would, again, be fairly generic. So I just kind of gave them all, like, the same basic layout and stuff, but kind of changed up the finishes and furnishings and colors. Um, anyway, this one has different floors than the other two as well. So we have, like, the large parquet 
here, and I forget which wallpapers I used. I guess we'll find out in a moment, but um, yeah, we'll see. Oh, I'll go with that one. That's right. So yeah, and I don't quite remember what colors I go for, but I guess we'll find out together. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so the living room appears to be yellow um, or some sort of yellow there, which is nice, and um, yeah, I guess the dining room will be pink. Ooh, a salmon kind of color. That's exciting. And in the hallway, I think I get some kind of patterned wallpaper. Um, so, you know, it kind of makes it a little bit different. But yeah, you know, just kind of like some nice, um, more pastel colors. Uh, so, you know, kind of makes it look, um, you know, kind of inviting and and relaxed, I suppose, but um, yeah, it's recoloring the stairs here so they match the floor and also getting the same kind of texture or I guess the same kind of wallpaper upstairs as well and uh, adding in some lights and stuff um, and yeah, doing the tile in the kitchen. So the kitchen I think has gray tile on the walls um, which kind of matches the countertops so they're kind of like all gray and the flooring, oh yeah, the flooring is a little bit more colorful. I go for gray and yellow tiles on the floor there. So that kind of is a little different. And uh, here in the living room, um, I don't know if I put a TV in here or not. I think I do. So I think I go for these couches and they kind of like face like an L there or make like an L and they face the TV. It's a smaller TV there kind of in the bay window. It's also a chair, which is nice too. Um, you know, these living rooms in these townhouses are kind of compact. So, um, you know, kind of squeezing the furniture in, but I think it, it looks pretty nice. And this is a very cozy little room. Uh, getting in uh, some curtains here as well. I think I go for, I don't know what color. It's probably, oh, it's a yellowish color there. And yeah, I'm going to probably get in oh, a side table and um, some art, probably. That would make that would make sense. I was trying not to like replicate or like um, put like, you know, the same artwork in like multiple townhouses because that would be kind of weird. So I was trying to find unique ones each time. So at a certain point, I started to run low on options because there aren't really that many options for like paintings in The Sims. So, uh, you know, it's trying though. Um, anyway, getting in some plants and stuff, some flowers, it looks nice. Um, and some stuff on the coffee table there, which is rad and uh, recoloring the lamp as well. Kind of matching the couches there with it. Um, and oh wow, going in a lot of times to recolor it. Never mind, matching the walls instead. And also getting in the rug here. And so the rug is kind of like um, red. So that's kind of a contrast with the rest of the room. Anyway, moving on to the dining room in this house, I decided to put a round table in with four chairs instead of a rectangular table. It's a little bit of a smaller table, but it kind of fits the room better, I think. Um, and it's also just different because I wanted to do something a little different here with these uh, dining with this dining room. And I wanted each of the dining rooms to have a kind of slightly different layout. Uh, I have a china cabinet in here and a little bookshelf, which is nice. And what else? Probably a plant? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Um, oh, yep. There it is. <laughs> Some plants. An extra chair there in the corner and a rug as well. So just recoloring that. Uh, so, so it's a little bit different from the living room rug. And yeah, that's the dining room right there. And we'll probably do some details in the kitchen, but I guess we'll see. Uh, there's also a rug there in the hallway, uh, kind of by the front door. Anyway, in the kitchen here, getting in some blinds like the other townhouses, going for yellow ones. Also some stuff on the counters as well, so microwave and some paper towels, trash can. I forgot a trash can in the green one, so I put a trash can in there. And also the same kind of mat that the other ones have as well. So there you go. That's the, uh, oh, well, actually one more thing. Utensil, a little utensil cup holder. And there you go. So basement here, uh, getting in the flooring. So just kind of like more like, it's like a brick stone kind of floor. Um, and uh, getting in the wall coloring here. So we kind of have this light green mint kind of color. Or never mind, more like a gray color. And what am I going to put? I guess we'll see. Laundry room is obviously the same as the other houses. Um, you know, they all kind of have the same laundry room, uh, you know because it's the same layout basically, but this room in, or this main basement area in this house uh, just ends up kind of being more of like a bonus room. Uh, this is the master bedroom up here. It's kind of like an off-white color. And um, yeah, so I end up putting a four-poster bed in here, I believe from Supernatural. And it was kind of a, I put on an angle to make it like a little bit different and it was kind of a tight fit. So I don't think I was able to fit much uh, many other pieces of furniture in the room besides this bed. So it's mostly just the bed and then I think a nightstand and yeah, it's probably pretty much it. But, um, you know, it gets the job done. Anyway, uh, having a nightstand in there 
and uh, what else? Probably some oh, a lamp. Yeah, I think I get a floor lamp on one side and then just a table lamp on the other side because, uh, you know, there wasn't really enough room for another nightstand on the other side. But yeah, there also wasn't really room for a dresser either. But, uh, you know, it's fine. It's just a very kind of weird room, especially with the way I laid it out. But yeah, I wanted it to be different than the other ones. Anyway, um, we're going to move on uh, to the bathroom probably next. Uh, anyway, this is the rug, though, for this bedroom. So going for something green as well, because it's kind of a green theme going on in there. Also, there's the closet as well. So putting some clothes in there. I like to have the closets. I think it's a nice touch. Anyway, moving on now to the bathroom here. So um, yeah, the ensuite bathroom kind of has, I don't know, this, this like greenish um, tile and there's like some like uh, seashells <laughs> across the top. And I also have this dark green floor. It's kind of an interesting color scheme here in this bathroom. Um, this bathroom does not have a shower. It's just a tub and a toilet um, on the sink, obviously. But yeah, it doesn't have the tub shower like the other bathroom does in the green one. It's kind of the same as the blue one. Um, but yeah, so putting in the stuff, I believe I go for like dark green for like the uh, toilet and sink, sink and tub, or maybe not. Maybe it's whatever color it is now. Maybe. I don't remember. But anyway, putting in um, some mats on the floor. Uh, also just some stuff on the counter here. So just some details there. And a curtain as well. So that's good to have, uh, you know, for a bit of privacy, of course. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the bathroom there. Uh, the hallway, getting in a little rug here. So just makes it a little bit cozier and matches the rug that's downstairs. Also putting in uh, some curtains here on these windows upstairs. And uh, we're also going to do the upstairs bathroom here. So this is kind of, I think, a gray bathroom. I don't fully remember. It's a common theme of me not remembering. Um, but yeah, oh, here we go. So yeah, it's kind of gray. Oh, gray and green. That's nice. Um, and getting in the uh, tub shower combo in this bathroom. And I think this is where I make the green. Yeah, this is where I make the stu all the, um, like the tub shower and sink green, uh, which is kind of different. And uh, just getting in the details here. So just like the uh, towels and like toilet paper and all that kind of stuff that you'd probably hope to have in a bathroom. So uh, just doing that. And also a mirror there over the sink, of course, and some mats on the floor as well. But um, anyway, now we're just going to probably move on to the uh, second bedroom. So the second bedroom is, I think, a kid's room in this house. Um, so yeah, I think I go for kind of like a pinkish, purplish color scheme. Um, anyway, there's the bed there. And I also put in, uh, I think, a wardrobe as well. So we'll see in a moment. But uh, getting in the bedspread right now. Yeah, so there's kind of like the purple kind of theme going on. Um, and also going to get probably some stuff in here. Looking for a lamp. There's a lamp. It's nice. Nice lamp right there. Alarm clock as well. There's the wardrobe. Uh, I like the wardrobe object. I think it's kind of nice. Um, and also getting in uh, some curtains as well, of course. I went for, I guess I'm like a lighter color there on the curtains. Also, it's a beanbag chair and a rug. So putting in the rug. Uh, I went for that kind of uh, pattern there, which is unusual. I haven't really used that before but I thought it was kind of fun. Uh, also getting in uh, some stuff on the walls here, so we'll see what posters I pick, probably the ones I usually go with. There's also a calendar though, which is nice. But yeah, there's some posters on the wall and uh, a toy in the corner. Um, so yeah, stuffed animal there by the bed. And um, what else? Coloring, recoloring the closet there. But I think that's pretty much it for that uh, bedroom. But anyway, we're going to move on now to the basement kind of bonus room. So down here, um, I think I put in the computer desk. I think all the houses have computer desks down here in the basement. So doing that, and uh, yep, there's the computer and a chair. How nice. But I also, I think, I don't remember. I keep, it's a very common theme of me not, not remembering and thinking things, but not knowing things. Um, oh, I put a chess table. I thought I put something else, but you know, I put a chess table in this house. Also getting in some chairs. Um, I don't think there's a TV down here. It's just like uh, some couches or just a couch there and a chair, which is nice, I guess. So I guess your Sims can sit down here if they want and just relax. It's kind of a, you know, it's a bonus room. That's what it's for. Uh, also getting a painting there over the couch and a bookshelf, of course. What else would you expect? And I'm also detailing the laundry room here. So just getting in uh, kind of all the laundry objects and also a mirror. And yeah, we're actually pretty much near the end here. I mean, we've already done the inside, so just a few more touches. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this house design video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Also, you can check out plenty more house design videos on my channel as well. I have a playlist of Plymouth Isle ones in particular and of just ones in general, like all the ones I've done. Uh, you also would recommend checking out the playlist uh, where I created this world if you haven't seen that yet. Also, if you have any feedback, let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, please make sure to give it a like. But yeah, just doing some stuff out here. I'm doing um, changing the railing color there so it matches the stone wall or the brick wall out front. Also adding in some landscape lighting as well, or just some lighting just on the post there. I also put the mailbox there, um, kind of like merged with the fence post, and I put the trash can down there because, of course, there's only one mailbox and trash can because it's just one lot. So, uh, you know, but it's fine. Um, and here I'm just getting in uh, some dirt terrain paint and stuff and some things like that. I guess if I used Bida Bug, I could have put a mailbox and trash can for each house, but I didn't think about that until just now, so it's too late, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, just some final touches. I hope you stick around for the screenshots as well. Uh, those will be coming up very soon. Here I'm just doing the uh, covered porch or the screened in porch for the uh, kind of back there, but. Oh yeah, I also put ivy on the side. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone. <laughs>